Morning everyone, welcome back to another video. As you can see behind me, we have another crazy car on the channel. This one is 380 horsepower, so this video is not to be missed. Make sure you stay till the end because there are some mad noises coming up. Um, I'm gonna flip the camera around in a second, have a walk around with the owner. Um, a lot of money's gone into this car, as you can see just from the outside. Um, it's running 1552, it's got massive K-Sports. So without further ado, let's get into it. Right, so as you can see from the outside, this car has got a lot of modifications and I think I'm just going to let the owner run through everything that's been done because there is so much stuff that's been done. <laughs> Rightio. Right, start off with, we've got the 1552 Tarmax, uh, 19s. Uh, sitting behind them, we've got the 8-pot calipers with case forks and the big discs. Um, graphics are all done by Mark 1 Graphics. See that down the side. Which you can see down here. He's done a really nice job of those, hasn't he? On the rear quarters, quite a popular bit to get down the rear quarters. And on here, he's done a really, really nice job. It's come out absolutely pucker. I mean, as you'll see on the road, guys, this gets so much attention. We've already, I mean, trying to get this intro filmed has been crazy. We've had about three or four people just stop in the space of about five minutes walking past. And um, yeah, so we're just about getting this intro done. Um, behind the front grille, what are we looking at there, mate? You've got um, stage three RS intercooler, the uh, bigger version. So that's a big bad boy in there. Uh, just to fit that, you've got to fit the RS rad as well. Okay. Just to get the pipes cleared. So that obviously is that. And then we've got these two little things behind here, which so many people go, oh my God, you've got two turbos behind the grills. But actually they're... <coughs> just hooters. <laughs> just hooters. Just hooters. Everybody loves hooters. And obviously coming around the front there, is that a TRC no, that's, kit or what um, is that? RS parts, low line kit, but I've got the TRC side skirts. Okay, nice. Uh, we've got the RS parts rear diffuser as well. Yeah, so we'll come around to the back and have a look at that now. The RS parts rear diffuser is so aggressive. Really, really aggressive. And it goes really, really nice with those massive, massive exhaust tips from the Section 18. Because from standard, though, those KMSs do stick out quite far. And I think having that diffuser makes it a lot yeah. nicer, doesn't it, mate? Yeah, it looks yeah, really, definitely. really nice. You can see all the grass we've got flicked up the back from where we've been hooning it down the roads and I'll tell you now this car is no joke Like I say 385 brake and we're literally spinning up in all gears at the moment just because of this um, the wet roads um, What suspension setup are you running as well because obviously it looks super low That's on Spax RSX coilovers fully adjustable Nice and you've got a nice bit of camber on the back as well Yeah it's Which sits, you can see from right the side there It's sitting really nice mate it's sitting There's pucker. no spaces on it neither so it's running with no spaces Nice um, yeah, brilliant car. Let's get out on the road and give it a hoon then, mate. Let's do it. Yep, right, boys and girls. So we are out in a 385 brake horsepower Focus ST that has had ridiculous amount of modifications. We've just done a quick walk round. Yeah, if we go left, bud. We've just done a quick walk around, and obviously, like I said, I've had the owner explain a few bits that have been done. But what we didn't say, and what I, what I will show now, is what's been done in the engine. So what's actually been... Oh, mate, that pour is ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, so crazy. going back to the engine, what, what has actually been done in the engine? Because you've done a lot, haven't you? Right, engine by itself has had a 
bottom end engine rebuild by Auto Mods nice. in Nottingham. That's running Irish pistons and rods, so Irish internals. Yeah. Um, going with that, you got you know Rillo, uh, Millennium. Yeah. KMS crossover, uh, Cosma filter, which is massive. It's a big filter. <laughs> it's, yeah, that's, that's one of my favourite bits. Is that filter? It's just, just so big. It's like the size of my head. Yeah, it is big. Um, um, you've also got the X37 hybrid turbo nice. on gear speed. Which that's is... running forge actuator and a turbo smart reset. Nice. I mean, the whole setup just, yeah, it's it's just cool. perfect, isn't it? Yeah. It's absolutely perfect. You couldn't want any more than this. For me, if I had this setup, this would be it. I mean, look at it. State of that power. I mean, I literally spinning it. Was that third? Yeah. Just third gear, literally just fully spinning up. The torque is insane. Absolutely rapid. <laughs> so many of these 
mods that a lot of these focuses don't have. A lot of them just run the standard turbo and just max out as much as they can. Yeah. Which, I mean, I don't actually know what do they max out on a standard turbo. Uh, I think it's around about three. I'm not yeah. not 100 percent sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, either way, it's nothing what like what you're running, no. is it? I mean, this is just next level power. No, it's definitely not. I mean, we were just saying earlier as well, like when you're in sixth gear. Because um, the torque is so high and it's so aggressive, you can be in sixth gear doing like 50 miles an hour or even less, and it literally just you can go away to top speed. It's, yeah. it's ridiculous, isn't it? It still throws you back in the seat. In sixth. Yeah, big time. It's really, really aggressive, and I absolutely love how the car. I mean, one of the biggest things for this car, like I've said to you at the start as well, we've had a couple of people stop while we was filming that intro just to chat, so this video is taking a lot longer than normal, and. Um, Basically, just because they love the car so much, they've just stopped and wanted to know loads more about it and looked at, wanted to look in the engine bay. And just that's what, one of the reasons why I love making these videos and why I love you guys watching them at home is because you can see what the owners put into the car. Like, this car has not just been bought as it is, it's literally been almost not nut and bolt, but there's been so many things done to it. It's by no means how it was when you got it because you've uh, owned it for how long? I've owned it about three years, I think. And you were saying when you first had it, it was literally. It was a dog. It was just an absolute dog. It Nothing was, when I first picked it up, I'd give good money for it. Yeah. Uh, no, it didn't have a blob like that done to it. And driving it home, it started smoking and everything else. Oh, wow. So we got it up to Nottingham to Mark Kent. Yeah. Um, he had a look at it and do a blob mod. Yeah. And it turned out the blob was scrap. Oh, it, was, it wasn't cracked liners, it was warped. Okay. And the so owner, just as bad, really. Yeah. Really worse, and the owner yeah. just literally load of silicon, silicon it all up, forged it, and just sold it on. And wow, was, just to get it sold. And, yeah, and I ruled it. What an ass. Yeah, so okay, okay. That cost me quite a few grand to uh, put right. Yeah. And it's why it's running RS internals now. Yeah, because you, you might as well do them while, yeah. you, while you're there. Which makes yeah. complete sense. I think it'd be stupid not to do that. Yeah. I wasn't going to forge it with too much money. Yeah, forging's oh. big money, but I think, to be honest, with the power that you've got now, you don't need any more, do you? No. I mean, for me as a passenger already, I mean, well, I, I can't wait to give it a little pull my, myself, but it, it feels stupid, mate. Yeah, but. the goal I've got for this is 400 brake. Okay. That's what I want. So you're not far away now? No. At all? But at the minute, I'm quite enjoying the 385. It's yeah. good, good power. It's big power, mate, yeah. And this is the thing, although they're, they are quite a heavy car, admittedly, but... What people don't forget is it's a two and a half litre engine, it's turbocharged, it's a big unit, and the torque the torque it chucks out is, is big numbers, isn't it? It's big numbers of torque. So this is the thing where a lot of people you, you it's not necessarily the highest horsepower figure, but the torque figure is so high, it really does feel like it's yeah. almost double the horsepower that it is because it just chucks every gear you can just be at any revs and put the foot down yeah. and you're just exactly. gone, like literally just gone. We're um, just going to second gear now, so it's obviously soaking wet roads, but... <laughs> oh my god, look at it! Look at the state of it! Oh my god! Wow, mate, that is so quick!
scary time of me driving your car, mate, for you. <laughs> and for me. <laughs> Do you know what? Because it's so low. I mean, it feels exactly the same to drive as my car, just at low speed, because obviously it's the same car. But I love the fact already that I'm holding a custom steering wheel, which I will put a clip in now of, because it is epic. But it just, let's just do a little fourth gear now and just see. I think it looks really yeah, slow. Like, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Give it a bit of space between the cars, huh?
share the same passion. This thing, this thing just, it's almost like it wants to be her. Just that, because of the turbo, it's just there. Like now, even in fifth, look, you can literally just look, wheel spinning in fifth. So much torque. Oh my days, mate. Fifth gear is spinning up. And the roads are like, they're not even like mega, mega wet. It's just, they're just moist here. And it's just, Biscuit base. Oh, what a car. What a car. 